Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain what are the different types of errors when we are performing the measurement in the FMCW radar. So in the FMCW radar, the ultimate measurement is a beat frequency. What we are going to calculate in the frequency modulated continuous wave radar, we are calculating the beat frequency. Beat frequency. So beat frequency that is given by Fb is equal to, I told you already beat frequency consists of two different frequencies, Fr range frequency and one more thing is Doppler frequency Fd. Okay, so that means we can write Fb beat frequency is a function of, that means it is a, a subtraction, addition or subtraction of these two frequencies plus or minus Fd. So, Fb beat frequency is equal to Fr plus or minus Ft depending upon the movement of the object. If the object is moving towards the radar system then Fr plus Fd. If the object is moving away from the radar system then Fr minus Ft. So, the beat frequency is the ultimate parameter that we are going to calculate from the FMCW radar. So, frequency is nothing but number of cycles per second. We know that the beat frequency or frequency is defined as Frequency is defined as the number of cycles per second. The number of cycles per second. So, how many cycles that it completes in between the radar system and the target is nothing but your number of cycles. Okay, suppose if you are having a radar system here and this is the antenna and this is the place of the object. So now when this waveform transmits the signal in this way and what is the resultant signal that is coming towards the radar system, this is the signal. Now from here to here it is one cycle. Okay, again second cycle. Such many how many cycles are there in between the radar system and the target one is in the forward direction and the one is the reverse direction. So total number of cycles is equal to your the beat frequency. So if you are talking about the range parameter then FR is determined in that way and if you, we are talking about the Doppler frequency component that is FD is determined in the same way. Okay. So that here we are concentrating on the number of cycles. For that when we were discussing the FMCW altimeter, there I have explained you two different blocks that are specially designed to calculate the range frequency and as well as Doppler frequency. So one is a switched frequency counter, switched frequency counter that determines the value of FD and another one is average frequency counter average frequency counter that determines or that gives the number of cycles related to fr what about the counters here how many cycles are there in between the radar system and the target and again from the target to the radar system the total round trip number of cycles are going to be calculated counted here suppose if one complete cycle is there then the counter will count this is one cycle okay Suppose only the cycle is like this, it is not completed fully, only half of the cycle is completed. Such cycles cannot be counted by using your counters because these counters are discrete counters. The counters we are using in the, the counters we are using in this FMCW ultimate technique or FMCW block diagrams in the radar systems so we are using counters are what type of counters? discrete counters such discrete counters can calculate the values or uh, count the values like 1 2 3 4 uh, like integer values but not uh, it cannot calculate the decimal values so of cycles quarter cycles and uh, uh, what is that uh, pow uh, 25 percent of cycles cannot be calculated using this discreteness of the counters. So, this error is especially due to the discreteness involved in the counters. Okay. So, discrete counter can count discrete counters. So, discrete discrete counters can count 
only integer values discrete counter can count only integer values like 1 2 3 and so on n okay so but we cannot calculate half cycle quarter cycle and three fourth of the cycle such type of counting values we cannot get decimal values we cannot get so what about the result of that one some part of the information we are losing okay so frequency what we are expecting we are not measuring so fd is nothing but let us consider 2.5 or uh, 200.5 cycles are happened in between the radar system and the target for fd but only it counts 200 the uh, nearest round uh, round integer value can be calculated that additional uh, half of the amount is missing okay so because of that the relative velocity is going to be changed and similarly if any parameter is any value is changed with respect to range frequency fr the resultant r value will be changed then the resultant values are getting errors okay these these errors are only due to the discreteness of the counters so these errors are due to discreteness of the counter these errors are due to discreteness of the counter suppose if the counter is able to calculate those additional part like off or whatever the additional signal we have such type of signals can also be if it is calculated then there is no such problem like error okay but unfortunately our counters are completely discrete counters like average frequency counter or switched frequency counter whatever it is both are can both can measure only discrete in values so one two three four and so on so we can say uh, since the output since the output of the frequency counter n is an integer so as i told you already either fd or fr for which we are talking about that is the integer value the range will be the range will be an integral multiples of an integral multiples of c into 4 uh, c by 4 delta f c by 4 delta f and it will give rise to an error called to an error called what is that error quantization error quantization error okay so it is named as quantization error or we can call it as some step error quantization error or step error simply we can call it also as a step error or fixed error we can also call it as a fixed error okay so the error which is due to the discreteness of the counters is known as quantization error or uh, step error or fixed error so this is due to the discreteness and uh, it, the error is the integral multiples of the value like c by delta f so we can call it as the quantization error is indicated by delta r is equal to c by 4 delta f c by 4 delta f nothing but this is the quantization error okay so once again i am re repeating the measurement error is nothing but when you are performing the measurement of a height measurement or any distance measurement using this fmcw radar the counters are being used which is used to count the number of cycles present over the 
present between radar system and the target and again from target to the radar system. So for that we are using incorporating two different uh, uh, what is that uh, frequency counters to measure the Doppler frequency and as well as range frequency because the bit frequency is having two parameters FD and FR. So uh, switched frequency counter is used to calculate the Doppler frequency and uh, average frequency counter is used to calculate the range frequency. So when you are calculating the number of cycles in between this radar system and the target, what is the problem? The counters are designed only for the measurement of discrete values, not the continuous values like a half cycle points, a point values cannot be obtained using this discrete nested. So that's why the one error is going to be generated because we are missing some information in between that. Uh, that means we are getting the one value 1 and getting the value 2 but intermediate values we are not getting. So step values we are missing that's why it is step error or fixed error. And also are more precisely known as we can call it as a quantization error which is a given by quantization error is given by delta R is equal to C by 4 delta F. C by or delta F. This is about the measurement error in, terms in the FMCW radar. 